Hey, we have another integral on the board from the MIT Integration B. This is from 2019, problem number 11. We have the integral from 2 pi to 0 of cos x, cos 2x, cos 3x, dx. First, when I was looking at this, I thought it was a little harder than it really is. It's pretty common to have an integral with two uh, different trig functions with different angles, but it's just a little bit unusual to see three, but it's really not that much more complicated. So let's look at the formula that we can use to simplify this. Okay, so here's the formula we're going to use when we have two different angles, A and B. We just can take out a half, and then we have the sum of the two angles plus cos of the difference of two angles. To start with, let's apply this formula on the cos 2x, cos 3x part. So applying the formula, we have our cos 2x times cos 3x just as a half, the sum of the angles, which is cos 5x, and the difference of angles, which is cos of x. So now let's rewrite the integral with this plugged in. I've rewritten this, I've just pulled the half out front of the integral and I've distributed this cosine into the uh, cos 5x and cos x to get a cos squared x here. But then notice we have the same problem here, we have different angles again. So we can just apply this formula again on cos x, cos 5x. So then notice cos x times cos 5x is a half, the sum of the angles, which is cos 6x, and the difference of angles, which is cos 4x. So now we can take this piece and plug it right back into our integral again here. So plugging that in, we've rewritten our integral, and then you'll notice we're pretty much ready to integrate. We know how to integrate this. We know how to integrate this. This is just gonna be a sine function um, with a little, we'll have to mess with that angle a little bit, but we still need to simplify cosine squared x. But we can use the angle reduction formula for that. We know this is actually the same as half plus a half cosine two x. So we can actually plug that in here, and then let's just rewrite this whole thing and clean it up a little bit before we're ready to integrate. Okay, so now I've rewritten this, and I took the half that we had up front, and I just distributed it, so that's why you see all these one-fourths in here. So now, before I actually integrate this, what I want to notice is one thing, though. Let's just, because we have very similar terms here. We have all these different cosine terms with different angles, and let's just look at what happens when we integrate these from 2 pi to 0. So let's just integrate one. Let's not worry about the coefficient or the angle. And when we integrate this, we're going to end up with a over b sine bx from 2 pi to 0. And then what I want to notice is when we plug our 2 pi in for the angle, this is always going to be 0. And then again, when we plug in 0 in here, well, in for the x, sorry. When we plug a 0 in, again, it's going to be 0. So this integral in every case is gonna be zero. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow us to ignore this piece, this piece, and this piece, and just focus on the integral of 1 fourth because everything else is zero. So you can see all we need to do now is just integrate 1 fourth. So this is gonna be really easy. So we're gonna integrate and we're gonna have 1 fourth x from two pi to zero. We'll just plug that in. Our zero is gonna be zero. So we're just gonna look at 1 fourth times two pi, and that's just gonna be pi over two. And that's it. That's going to be our answer. This is MIT Integration B 2019, problem number 11. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.